battle of the century between teachers is happening at our school. Whose anti-stress supplies will win? Miss Smith's slimes or Miss Elizabeth's squishies? Watch this school challenge in our new video. It looks like we've got a new substitute teacher. Miss Elizabeth will conduct today's class. Just look at her, she's so calm. The students don't annoy her at all. It must be all because of her squishy pencil decor. Take a makeup sponge that is shaped like a diamond. Cut off the end. Cut out a hole and put the sponge onto a pencil. Color the sponge with glitter glue. A thunderstorm is rolling into class. Miss Elizabeth doesn't even suspect that there is a hidden threat. Miss Smith comes back to the classroom. There are two teachers now, but there is only one teacher's chair. A battle for the throne with wheels starts. It looks like a gorilla fighting a panther. No one wants to surrender. Miss Smith and Miss Elizabeth fight for every inch by the blackboard. A clash of teachers begins. This will be the war of the year. Whose anti-stress will win? The winner will be the best teacher of the semester. And the students will film all the results with a camera. Hashtag squishy versus slime. The battle begins. Choose your weapons. Miss Elizabeth has a squishy diamond. And Miss Smith has a space slime. Coat a pencil with black acrylic paint. Add space print. Use a sponge to make blue and burgundy imprints. Add light blue and silver accents. Paint stars with a thin brush and white paint. Mix glue and glitter. Add glitter of space shades. Mix it and add some Purcell gel. Mix the glittering slime. Make a hole in a round spherical container using a heated knife. Stick the pencil inside and fasten it with hot glue. Fill the container with slime. Cover it with the second half. Miss Smith reigns over a whole galaxy of slimes. This space queen definitely knows a thing or two about anti-stress. The slimes versus squishies challenge is going to be fascinating. The first round is for big squishies. Miss Elizabeth has a soft pencil, and Miss Smith made a whole milkshake. Cut latex foam so that it is of the same shape as a cup. Paint it pink. Paint flowing drops at the top. Leave some foam white and decorate it with sprinkles. Make small holes. Stick pens and pencils into cocktail straws. Hot glue a pink decoration to a pencil. And take a licorice shaped eraser. Insert all the school supplies into the milkshake holes. Fasten milkshake decor, such as sticks and an umbrella. School council tries out the squishy. The milkshake looks very tempting. It is satisfying to touch and there are pencils and pens hiding inside the straws. Speaking of pencils, the blue-eyed girl tests Miss Elizabeth's squishy. This pencil is not that simple. There is a whole set in it. Cut latex foam and shape it into a pencil tip. Cut a hole for a tube with pencils inside. Cut the other half of the pencil out of latex foam. Color the foam with spray paint. Use yellow paint to make a wood design on the tip of the pencil. Cover the inside of the foam detail. Insert a tube with pencils. The blue-eyed girl can draw with all the pencils at the same time. This squishy is not that bad, but if we need a winner, then it's definitely the soft milkshake. Miss Smith is the winner of this round. The score is one to zero. We need a coffee break before the second round. Miss Elizabeth adores coffee. By the way, how about using it in the challenge? This cup of coffee is soft like kitten paws. Even Miss Smith won't be able to keep her hands off it. 
Take a coffee cup shaped squishy and cut out a hole in the bottom. Insert a pencil sharpener. Miss Elizabeth shows her creation to the public. The girls hope that this is a good smelling cup of coffee. But a squishy cup of coffee is a great stress reliever too. What's more, it's actually useful. You can sharpen all of your pencils with it. Miss Smith is not going to be a loser in this competition. She made a drink too. It's a Fanta Slime. Take a plastic bottle. Cut a hole in the cap with a heated knife. Cut an eraser to be of the same size as the cap and stick it inside of it. Pour a liquid slime inside. and attach a small Fanta label. The girls are so excited about the coffee cup. Miss Smith won't tolerate rivals. You can erase all the sharpened pencils with her Fanta. And take out a liquid slime. The girls need a lot of time to decide who's the winner of this round. The coffee cup is the winner for sure. Miss Elizabeth evens the score, one to one. Miss Smith shows all of her handmade skills in the next round. She has already made a marker with slime inside. Take a marker and a removable container of appropriate diameter. Cover the container with fatty cream. Apply hot glue to the marker plug and attach the container. Take away the excess glue. You can take the container off the marker easily when the hot glue is completely dry. Mix clear glue and a drop of food coloring. Add glitter. And pour in some water. Add borax. Mix the glittering slime. Put it into the container. Make one more slime with a different coloring. And fill the container. Stick in the marker. Miss Smith is happy with her job. This slime is stretchy and glittering. It was made to win me this battle. This slime can conquer the entire world. And Miss Elizabeth relies on literature. She made a whole squishy book. An Encyclopedia of Softness, Volume 1. Attach melamine sponges together to make a rectangular block. Wrap the block with a foam rubber sheet. Glue it tightly. Make a small cut in the sponge. Cut a bookmark out of a foam rubber sheet and glue it inside the sponge. Draw pages with a black pen. Define them with glitter glue. Cut a melamine sponge lengthwise. Write a title on it. Cut out letters and fasten them to the cover with hot glue. Attach toy eyes a bit lower. Define contours with a black marker. Color the letters with glitter glue. Decorate the cover. This soft literature squishy will win this round for sure. The jury should test my book. The girls get a funny anti-stress toy. The soft book is nice, but the marker slime is even better. It is so glittering and stretchy. The slime lives right on your palm. Their decision is made. The marker wins this round. The score is Miss Elizabeth 1 and Miss Smith 2. Miss Elizabeth understands that she's losing this battle. This was not part of her plan. She needs an anti-stress device that will make the score tie immediately. And it's a notebook with a secret slime. Cut a hole in a notebook. Bend plastic to make a rectangular bottom with sides. Fasten it with tape and put it into the notebook. Add starch to liquid soap and pour in some vegetable oil. Mix the slime, put it into the notebook and you can write with a marker on it. The girls find slime inside the notebook. It's so clean and fresh. It was made to bring about victory. Miss Elizabeth sneakily changes the results. No one will even notice that she's losing. The battle becomes more and more serious 
after every round. Next thing you know, the teachers aren't even on speaking terms. We need to make a peace treaty between them. And our giant squishy acrylic will do the trick. Take a memory foam sponge. Take a bottle with liquid slime and wrap it in the sponge. Fasten it with hot glue. Cut a round cap out of the sponge so that it fits the size. Make a hole for the neck of the bottle inside. Paint the sponge yellow. Attach an acrylic paint label. Hot glue the cap of the bottle onto the hole on the sponge. This is our new invention, anti-stress friendship. This is both a squishy and slime. They live together peacefully. So Miss Smith and Miss Elizabeth will also be able to get along. Let's add color into these teachers' lives. Yay! Friendship wins in our slime versus squishy battle. Did you like this teacher anti-stress battle? Then write in the comments what you liked the most, squishy or slime. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new challenges on Troom Troom.